I am a professor here at UCCS, and I am in the engineering school, and uh, I primarily do research on laser material interactions. And uh, I came to UCCS about two years ago with an idea that I would branch out into uh, bioscience applications of lasers. And having uh, invented a surgical uh, device, a uh, stapler for nasal surgery, I was really familiar with that particular application, surgical need, and it got me thinking about ways of using lasers as potentially uh, replacing sutures and staples as a way of fusing tissue together, uh, closing wounds. And so I wanted to talk to you about that today and I got some uh, uh, state funding to uh, do some of the work that I'll show you and develop a uh, device that right now I'm looking at uh, spinning off into a company that will develop not just this one but some follow-on devices for a broader application. And part of that state program is that uh, uh, grant recipients uh, do something to try to disseminate uh, the work that we're doing. So that's what this is all about. And before I get started, I was hoping to talk to you about something I call MIND Studios. And MIND is, stands for Medical Innovations and Novel Designs, and it's a product design and development studio here in the university environment. Product design is a very exciting field to work in because it's always a different problem and you're solving real world uh, issues. Uh, for people and uh, it's fun to take a concept and give it form and function uh, and so I think it's a great opportunity to get students involved since it is an exciting thing but there's also a lot to learn about uh, not just straight engineering and uh, right now I have all engineering students but also there's the aesthetic factor they're thinking about uh, you know actually producing something that is uh, useful and low cost to manufacture and we've uh, uh, had a lot of projects uh, not all in the medical area, although we're working on prototyping some disclosures from physicians at the Health Science Center, doing some interesting projects, but we also have people in the community who have brought projects to us. Uh, one client of ours works in a retirement home uh, setting, and uh, they have to track movements of some residents for uh, insurance purposes, so we made a wireless system that allows them to figure out how far Mrs. Johnson really walked instead of saying, do you think Mrs. Johnson went down the hallway today? Sure she did, or whatever. Uh, another uh, big success story is we had uh, a fellow come to us with an idea about how to improve the reliability for retractable uh, dog leashes. I don't know if you've ever used a retract retractable dog leash, but right now most of the best-selling brands use a flat webbing, a nylon web. Uh, uh, the original ones for retractable leashes used uh, round cords but there are cases, uh, people have been sued for fingers, I mean companies have been sued because uh, owner's fingers have come off, a cord wraps around a finger, you got a big dog that takes off, mm, it's bad. So most of the big manufacturers have moved to this flat webbing because it's safer, but now you run into problems with spooling a flat uh, cord uh, ribbon onto a spool and this fellow had an idea for something that would fix that problem and we prototyped it for him and then uh, he found a company north of Denver, uh, an established pet products company that uh, wanted to integrate that into their products so now we're working for that company to build a new dog leash that will carry the AKC brand that they licensed just for this product. So it's very exciting for the students and uh, it's a great project that they can get their arms around and actually complete in a reasonable amount of time. So we're doing a number of things like that. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. And uh, my name is Michael Larson. And this is something about me to convince you uh, why you should be listening to me, I guess. I got my PhD uh, from MIT in mechanical engineering, so I like mechanical uh, things. I uh, have had a lot of sponsored uh, research, and I've also co-founded two companies. One is that surgical uh, device company I mentioned. The other one is a uh, toy company. And if you're interested, uh, I'll just slip some cards up here on the table. This is the shameless commerce uh, part of the program. Uh, yeah, and that would be a kit, the laser game. <laughs> uh, 
Um, this is uh, the main product of my toy company, Intervention Toys, it's called. We make Ket the Laser Game. It's a two-player strategy game. There are lasers built into the board. Lasers are cool. You move mirrored pieces around and uh, fire the laser, which bounces from mirror to mirror. And when it lands on a non-mirrored piece, that comes off the board. They make great gifts. So for this holiday <laughs> gift giving season, you can keep that in mind at www.ket.com. Uh, Zorbin Technologies is the name of the medical device company. And uh, I was a professor down at Tulane uh, in New Orleans for 12 years and uh, ended up here after Katrina. I spent a year in Cambridge, uh, Massachusetts, but I'm really glad that I am here now. And let's see, I'm going to skip this slide. I forgot the slide was in here. Uh, okay, well, I'll. I'll show you this comment that I really like. It uh, shows this fellow standing, looking at his kitty uh, next to the litter box, and he says uh, to the cat something. Uh, Never, ever think outside the box. <laughs> and uh, I do like uh, creativity, uh, innovate, inno innovation, and try to figure out how to help my students be more self-aware about being creative, uh, being innovative, and I think I can do that uh, here at UCCS. And uh, one thing that was really nice right off the bat, uh, I gave some students uh, just a, a simple test, to assess where they are. And they told me right off that we have uh, creative students, because the question is here, uh, find x. And the answer I got was, uh, here it is. <laughs> so. uh, and uh, I have something called the uh, El Pomar Institute of Innovation and Commercialization I'm affiliated with. And what we're starting to do this year is to give uh, seed grants, uh, forty to $50,000 each, to uh, faculty doing research who link up with community partners in order to try to spin technology out of the university and create new uh, ventures. Uh, so. Part of that activity is this Mind Studios where we do basic research. We also collaborate with industry and we hold workshops and conferences. And October 25th, uh, we're having a toy and game design workshop, since I like uh, toys and games. And this is uh, for people in the community to come to the Crown Plaza on the south side of town to learn about the process of if I have an idea for a toy or a game, what could I do with that to turn it into a uh, company? So Mind Studios is on uh, the web at mind-studios.com, and you can see some pictures of things we've got, like a rapid prototyping machine. This is a really cool device. I like it a lot. Uh, we can create a solid model on a computer, but instead of sending it to just a printer to get a 2D picture, we send it to this machine, and it can create a plastic part mm -hmm. for us that uh, is just uh, like a real part uh, made of ABS plastic, and that is a very useful tool. We have a 3D digitizer. So this is something that doesn't just take a regular picture, but it gets a topology of a surface. So if I were to stand in front of this camera, you could get a 3D uh, picture of my face, send it to the rapid prototyping machine, and print up an instant plastic bust of me, which I'll leave it to you to decide how desirable that may be. Uh, I have an infrared camera in order for taking a look at uh, uh, the heat profile on something uh, in real time. We have machine shop with computer numerical controlled machining. We also do media uh, presentation, uh, video clips. We use uh, Maya, which is the software that was used in the first Toy Story video. So we can do animations that demonstrate how things work and are used. Uh, I have a high-speed video camera for doing dynamic analysis. I can take up to 50,000 frames a second with this thing. And then one nice thing is we use uh, a lot of students in the lab, and I like the experience that students get because they all work for pay. There is no credit because students often fall into this habit of, you know, 80% is good enough. But in the studio, since we're working for real customers, they have to go all the way and you really can't teach an experience. Uh, people create their own. 